smiling. <laughs> I feel like we always do these, these videos when it's like the peak day of hay fever. <laughs> and so I'm always just dying. Like the last video, I was just like, <coughs> like blowing my nose every yeah, five seconds. I, and I, I'm just like, <coughs> I cut most of them out. It's just, <coughs> it's just you always go over there. Oh, I'm dying. All right, hold on, this will help. We interrupt this broadcast to let you know that we got a new logo. Isn't it sick? Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. And then look at all this. Look at this fucking awesome art. If you want to get some of this brilliant art for yourself, go and follow our friend T-Rex on Instagram. He's taking commissions now, and you better get in quick because he's going to be booked up real fucking soon. Love you, mate, and thank you again for this awesome logo. Hi, guys. This is Pilot Era Podcast, and welcome to another video. <laughs> Was that good? Just don't laugh during it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's my style. I laugh at everything. That's true. Yeah, that's fair. Today, we are going to be talking about some paranormal videos. <laughs> What? We've been watching heaps lately. Like, literally every night. It's kind of like outrage porn. We know that it's bullshit. It's all 100% bullshit and it's so dumb. The title is always like, uh, videos that scientists can't explain that will make you poop your pants. It's some bullshit. And most of the voiceovers are like, this thing is happening. It's really scary. I mean, it could just be a bird or an issue with the camera, but some people think that it's UFOs or a monster. <laughs> like, you it's just not. You literally just said what it was. You just explained <laughs> it. I mean, people probably think we're crazy. We watch paranormal videos before we go to sleep, and then we listen to scary stories read to us as we go to sleep. Yeah, I don't know why I have so many nightmares. <laughs> now you've got your spray. I've got my lavender make an, spray. Make an ad for this fucking stupid spray. Well, I'm going to start making my own soon because I'm growing my own lavender, so... Ooh, that would be cool. They're like a pilot error branded one because people watch our videos all about scary stuff and then they get scared and they can't go to sleep. So you pilot get... error lavender spray. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> In these compilations, there's kind of Probably half a dozen or so types of videos, right? So we're going to take you through... I had to check the list. We're going to take you through <laughs> five. I was like, how many? Five of the different types of paranormal videos. Do a little bit of a, um, a deep dive and see if we can figure out how we would make the video. Because, spoiler alert, most of these videos are fucking fake and you can make them yourselves. Yeah. Any that are not fake... They have a fake backstory. Like, no one else was home, and you're like, obviously someone else was home. Yeah, it's supposed to take this person's, like, word for it. Oh, yeah, I was home alone. Oh, okay, well, they must have been home Yeah, alone. must have been home alone, must yeah, be. 100%. Just because they said they were. Look at this it. is the book we write all right. the notes in for the, for the podcast. <laughs> Number one, ghost, brackets, security camera. <laughs> don't, I'll put title cards in. You don't have to... Uh, one of the ones that uh, you see a lot is security camera footage. Yeah. So much security camera footage. And you just see basically like a smudge on the screen. Yeah. Or something. Some, some dust goes by or a bug. And then, of course, it's a ghost. It's a paranormal being. It's got to be a ghost. Or a shadow person. White, transparent ghosts and shadow people. Yeah. I don't know. I don't make the rules. So I think most of the ghost ones that confuse people are actual ghosts. Most of these security cameras are quite old and they use taped footage and what it does is it just retapes over the same tape over and over and over again these recordings just occasionally like bleed into each other they're filming the same area so any motion will be really obvious so people see these ghosts that are like human shaped ghosts it's just a person walking past the camera this is what it looks like just making it in premiere what's going on guys here we are in premiere pro first thing you want to do is drag your files in um Mine's a bit fucked at the moment, so we'll just put two in there. Yep, that's 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 fine. Uh, just get rid of that one. Okay. So, you want to make sure that you film this on a tripod from a high angle. I like this one. Look at these little cuties sitting down here. So, we'll go through the file until we find the bit where Kate walks past. Ooh. All right, so we're going to find a bit that we like. I like this little bit because a little cat sticks its head out there. So, we'll find the start of that. Chop it there. Get rid of the rest of it. We don't need that. Move that over there. Get rid of the audio because we don't need that. Zoom in a little bit. Let's find the bit where Kate walks out. There it is. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to chop that bit out. Chop it at the end, get rid of that little bit. So we want to find the point where we want it to end. The cat sticks his little head out. So that should be there. Let's have a squiz. 
And when it finishes, little cat six set up, perfect. All right, so next bit, we want to actually cut it and change the speeds. So we're going to speed and duration, and we're up to like 300. So changing the speeds just makes it a little bit more jarring. So we'll do it, say at the start and at the middle. Let's just, let's just, come on, fuck. Move it over there, come on. What? Come on, fuck. Shit. It's fucking. Okay. Fuck. All right, move it over here. There we go. So up the speed, same thing, 300. Chuck it back in. And we want to move everything from the start down so that it lines up with the end. Let's have a look. Yeah, so that's weird as fuck, so let's keep that. Beautiful. So now what we want to do is we want to nest this part so it's easier to do the mask. There it is. All right, now comes the fucked bit. So now we've got to draw a mask. We're going to draw the mask when Kate's full body is out. Way easier starting point. It doesn't have to be great. Because uh, we're going to feather the fuck out of it once we get it done. Yeah, look at that. Doesn't that look fucking awful? Now we want to add the animation to the mask to make sure that it'll actually move when we move it. Oh, there she goes. And now what we've got to do is pick a random point, move the mask, and just adjust it so it makes a bit more sense. Anything in the foreground we want to remove out of the mask as we go. Uh, this sells the effect because then it actually looks like she's behind the thing that she's behind when we lighten it up and add effects to the mask. So just keep adjusting it bit by bit, forwards and backwards. Now that we're finally happy with it, we're going to move Kate to the middle of the frame and we're going to add the levels effect to it. So you can see that we can make it brighter, we can make it darker. Uh, just be aware that if you go too far in any of these, you just gamma the fuck out of it and it looks crazy. All right, so I reckon I'm happy with that. There's a little bit of gamma on her arm, but it should be fine. So the next thing we want to do is feather the absolute shit out of this mask. So you can see even now it looks more like she belongs there. And the next thing we want to do is change the opacity of the mask to make it look like she's a ghost. The issue we're having right now is that there's a little bit of cat in the mask. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go through again and just adjust the mask bit by bit to try to just get rid of Ophelia. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add animations to the opacity. Uh, this is just so it makes it look more like she's appeared out of nowhere rather than just walked into the room. Next thing we want to do is we've got to make an adjustment layer. Let's chuck it over the top. Now we're going to put in this adjustment layer. So the first thing we're going to put in there is the color balance effect. So what you can do with this is you can make a night vision by making it all green. But we've been really into watching Paranormal Activity at the moment, so I'm going to give it a blue Paranormal Activity look. Now that looks pretty garish and terrible. Let's just adjust that as we go. Let's move on. So the next thing you can put in there if you want to make it look more like security camera footage is the Venetian blinds effect. Uh, you just want to set that at 90 degrees and then fiddle with it until it looks right. That looks pretty good. And then the last thing we want to put in there is some noise. So noise is just a bit of distortion over the top. It makes it look a bit more realistic. It makes the camera look a bit shittier and it helps to sell the effects. Move those around a bit. Look at that. That's fucking gorgeous. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to throw this out the fucking window because I've actually got a nice little green screen for security camera. So delete the Venetian blinds and we'll fucking stick that in there. And then we're just going to key out the green. So just key into the effects, grab the ultra key, pick a green. And there it is. Of course, the last and most important thing you want to do to sell these videos is to put it full screen and film it with your fucking phone. And that is how you make a ghost video in Premiere. There it is. Oh, oh my God. The next one is your classic, someone takes a video in like an abandoned house or in a forest or something like that and suddenly they are face to face with some sort of monster, demon, cryptid. A you person know, in a costume. A person in a costume. Is, yeah. <laughs> Guy who's shaved his head but he's wearing a diaper. Just and then like... he's like <laughs> skitters around. And then they're in like, an oh, abandoned it's a, asylum or something. Yeah, it's a fucking rake or whatever the fuck they're calling yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or a, just a dude in a fucking Bigfoot mask. This is how you do it. <laughs> That's actually really creepy. <laughs> That's going to be perfect. You scared my dog. Oh.
I am the dog. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. You are a bit of a dog. Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> That's the scary part. You what can't you... milk a joke you didn't even make. That's <laughs> fucked. <laughs> Get fucked. All right, let's set up. All right, let's go. What's up, guys? We're back again. This time, I'm going to show you how to do a really simple whip transition. So you don't really need anything for this. Your camera can be freehand. All you need to do is set up your scene. And when you get to a certain point where you want to have the whip transition, simply whip the camera to one side without moving from where you're standing. Just reset up the scene and then perform the exact same whip transition before continuing. Then all you have to do is cut out the middle bit, overlap the transition a little bit, and you're done. What's up, Spook Squad? It's your boy Cryptiddy here again with another video. So smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. We move through this haunted house that I definitely didn't rent. So we're heading down these stairs right now. Whoa, so spooky. Spooky fam. <gasps> what the fuck was that? Guys, if you're worried about me, go and like my girlfriend's Instagram if you would be super bummed about how sad she would be if I died. Let's go find out what the noise was. Oh, I'm so scared, fam. We're moving on to another classic, the poltergeist. So somebody's filming in their house and stuff just starts moving for no reason. Crazy. Because their house is haunted by a poltergeist. Fishing wire doesn't exist in whatever universe it is. I have the one where like the doors are like slamming and they like swing the door open and they film around the corner except not all the way to the wall. <laughs> because there's obviously there's a there. person fucking standing there who was just slamming the door. This is how you make a shitty poltergeist video. Check, check. Check, check. Little kitten. Look at mommy. Good girl. Luckily it's past inspection, so hopefully it should be good enough to terrify. It's pretty bright. You look like Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> what a shot. Well, we're going to perform a miracle today, so just you fucking watch. <laughs> I want to see if you can actually see this on camera. Especially if it's this bright, you can't fucking see anything. <laughs> well, that's good then. So all I'm going to do is just cut bits of this. Just tie it to the cupboard door. Click. So are you saying this is all you need to make your own paranormal video? Well, it won't be good. Oh, God. Yeah. Ow! <laughs> Tripped over the cat food. Let's get a little closer. Oh, what happened in there? That's good. That's good. I'm doing uh, really bad knots here. Didn't you do scouts? No. Sit on the floor. It's a poltergeist. All right, hold on. I want to see it from over here with the brightness of the window behind it. Oh no, you definitely can see it. That's what the professionals do. Professional charlatans. Mm. That's sick. That's sick! <laughs> Hopefully we don't break the cupboards. Oh. We have to like call a real estate agent and be like, so why did your cupboards break, poltergeist? Yeah. <laughs> what? 
<laughs> it's a good time to do that noise because you're doing uh, handy crafts. Where's my beer? This is good co content. You're telling me there's fishing wire on those cupboards. You cannot see this angle. Oh. This one white spot, you can't see it. <laughs> These knives are pretty cool. What's going to be your paranormal investigator name? Um, Paranorman. Paranorman. <laughs> Paranorman Bates. What? That's shit. That's, we set up. Yeah, it's ready for the first part, anyway. Yeah. Okay. So let's get your phone and see if we can fix the light. So we're setting up the cans that are going to be toppling off due to a uh, unseen force. We did the lighting for the. The wires, you can't see at all. Like, it actually looks so real. What did you mean, digging through the trash? Yeah. <laughs> George was just digging through the trash. So, so we're going to film part one, and then we'll take all the wires down, yeah. set them all up on the cans, and then we can film part two. Sounds good. Let's get it. Mate, that looked, that looked fucking sick. Next scene is the can fall. So Josh is setting that up now. Got to have two things happen. Just the cupboards is not good enough. What did you think of my acting? It's pretty great, actually. It's pretty shit. Mate, you're selling it. <laughs> do you cool. believe me? Yeah. I just think you don't believe you whenever you act because you know it's not real. Maybe. Is that how real actors feel or they've gotten past that kind of feeling? I think they try to pretend that it is real as best they can. Yeah, that's right. Method acting, right? Yeah, that's it. Maybe i got to send some used condoms to my co-stars or something. Yeah, just fucking Jared Leto, this bitch. Are you scared, Boo? Philia looks so cute on camera. Philia. She looks cute in real life. Oh my god, look how cute you are. Oh. Just pull herself in stone. Let's get it on. Get, get it on. What's going on guys, back again in Premiere Pro. So as always, first thing we want to do, drag our files in. We're doing another whip transition, so we just want to find the point that we want the whip to begin. So I think this part where it lines up with the window is pretty good. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll drag the other file on top of that at that point. We're going to zoom in, and we're going to find the point where the other one has about the same ratio of window to wall. Then we'll chop it there, and delete those extra bits. We'll line it up with the start of the video. And that's a whip transition. So if you look really closely, it's actually a pretty seamless transition. And that's probably the easiest way to remove somebody from a poltergeist video. It's fucking happening again. I can record it this time. Can you see that? That's... open. What the hell was that? Oh my god. Are you kidding me right now? The next one you see quite a bit is videos that are shot with someone in frame in front of a mirror. Yeah. And then the unexpected happens. The real life person will do something and the mirror doesn't follow suit or does something different. Yeah. You see a lot of photos 
of it done like using para- panorama effects on your camera. Mm. It's pretty easy to do a photo, but doing a video is way more difficult. Yeah. Um, well, doing it and making it look, <laughs> look good, it look good. <laughs> is that, way more difficult. That one of the little boy in the mirror. The little boy yeah, one is you, really bad. You've got to show not, that one. Not because uh, it's done poorly. It's done quite well. But, like, they just got lazy. Yeah. When they're doing the masking. So... You noticed it, like, pretty much straight away. And yeah. then I didn't see it until we watched it, like, four times. You're like, look at that. Look yeah. right there. And I'm like, oh, my God, it's so obvious. <laughs> I edit video. Yeah, exactly. Um, you always know how these things are done. Well, it's... You just know where to look. So, you're like, if I was doing this, where would I put the mask line? Yeah, Oh, yeah. I'd put it there. So, look there. And then you're like, oh, yeah, it's over too far to the left. So, the kid's shoulder, like, drops for no reason. <laughs> And that's what's wrong with most of the videos. Like, not everybody's got a Hollywood budget all the time. Yeah. But, like, if you're making, like, a 30-second thing to put on the internet, some people just don't care. Mm. But you may as well spend the extra seven seconds, like, going through it frame by frame. Yeah. Like, it's only 30 seconds long. And the the whole clip and the part that freaks someone out is, like, four seconds long? That's 100 frames. Just go through them. So you could do it with pretty much any video editing software with the same masking effects and this is how you do it how's it going guys we're back here in premiere pro and i'm going to show you how we do the mirror reflection effect so the first thing you want to do chuck your file in still having this issue but should be absolutely fine you want to film again stationary on a tripod unfortunately you can see me and the tripod in this shot but we're just going to ignore that for now so first thing we're going to do is we're going to find the portion where kate turns around there it is so this is, of course, when we're going to put the effect on when she's not looking directly into the mirror. So we'll just chop that. And at the end, we kind of want this to be short because it makes the effect a lot easier to do. Now what we've got to do is we've got to draw a mask. So again, we're going to draw the mask and we're going to do it around the actual mirror itself. So all the parts that are reflected are the parts we want inside the mask. So we'll just... Oh, uh, okay. So we've had a crash. So let's start this again and give it another go. All right, here we go. So I'm just going to draw this mask. Start at the corner of the mirror, and we're going to trace all around any part that's not in the reflection. Now, this mask has to be a little bit more sophisticated than your previous mask. The closer you do it, the less feathering is required, and it makes it a lot easier. So you can see now, the mask is drawn, but it's not going to meet up with any other part. So we have to go through every single frame and move all the key points on the mask until it meets up. Yes, this takes a long time. To do this small section took me about three hours to go around, double check, make sure everything's all right. Uh, this is actually playing at 10,000 times speed because it won't let you go any faster than that. So any parts that you mess up, you can just go back, fix them up one bit at a time. It is very, very tedious, but it will be worth it if you do it properly. All right, cool, so that's done. So now we'll just remove what's in the mirror. There we go. And now we can use this to check our mask again. You can tell I don't really like this bit where the mirror sort of disappears. So we'll go back in and fix that. So we're going to find the part where Kate's laughing, uh, mainly because it makes a lot of sense for her to be laughing, but also because she's not really in the way of the mirror when she's doing that. So we'll just cut that out, pop it underneath. You can have a little bit of a look what it's supposed to look like. It doesn't look too bad, but we're going to do, so we're going to stretch it out a little bit. We're going to cut out any part where you can see the mirror that she's holding in the mirror so it doesn't go over the top of your actual mask. It's just fucking... Oh, fuck me. Jesus Christ. Come on. Come on. Fuck. All right. There we go. That looks good. We'll chuck it in. Let's have a squeeze of what it looks like. That looks all right. So now we're going to make it, of course, fade in and out, help sell it a little bit, and now we're going to put effects on it. So we're going to start with the color balance effect. We're going to turn everything off, turn all the reds up. We didn't really like that last red, so we'll turn that off. Then we're going to hit keyframes to make it go from normal to red over time. And we'll just move that around until it's a bit of a smooth transition. Then we're going to add the brightness and contrast, make it a bit darker, make the contrast a bit better, and just see what it looks like. So the last thing we want to do is to give Kate some darker eyes. So take the ellipse tool, draw some eyes, and then just make sure they meet up with her eyes the whole time. Of course, we're not going to leave them like that. They'll have too sharp of an edge, so we're going to make them a bit opaque as well when we're finished. Chuck a denoise on there, and then to sell the effect, put some camera motion. And this is it.
What? Why for this scene, where you're supposed to be putting makeup on in the mirror, did you bring your makeup kit that already has a mirror? <laughs> well, I never, I never actually use this mirror. Like, that's so dumb. I use a bigger mirror, like this. You know that. But you've got other makeup, surely. No. Nah. No, nah, this is the best one. Look at the colours. What's the time check? When, when have we got to go? I don't know. Fucking, you're organising it. <sighs> what time is it? So the last thing we've got to talk about, pet videos. Specifically, Dog Gets Kicked by a Ghost. <laughs> that was literally the title of the video. Anybody who's ever hung out with somebody or owned Looked one of dog. these Jack Russell Terriers, <laughs> like they know they just flip out for no reason and they're twitchy as fuck. All animals do. All of them. But Jack Russell Terriers specifically yeah, are the yeah. weirdest ones. All of these videos can be explained by... Your animal's a little bit nervous. Better than a ghost came into my house just to kick my dog in the <laughs> face. Because <laughs> that's what they want to do in the afterlife. Apparently just so. Just kick dogs. Of course, if you want to make one of these, I think this is the best way to go about it. Ooh, welcome back to the world's easiest game show, pointing a camera at animals and waiting for them to do something weird. We got one. And there's another one. Thanks for joining us on pointing a camera at animals and waiting for them to do something weird. Good night. All right, guys. Well, that's five types of paranormal videos that we see all the time. And we're going to keep watching them. Yeah. I don't, I don't know why. We're just going to keep watching them. Yes, we watch them and we go, that's fucking stupid. And like I said, it's just outrage porn. Just being like, that's fucking dumb. Or, that's just a fucking person. Or, leave that dog alone. You know, it's just <laughs> like, every form of entertainment is kind of dumb. Like, we get emotionally yeah. invested in characters that don't exist and stories that aren't real. So I don't really know how this is that much different other than it's way dumber. And people believe it. And I think that that's the problem. Yeah. I don't care if you, like, believe in ghosts or actually, monsters or whatever. That's totally fine. I should say here that I actually do believe in ghosts there and demons go. and shit. There you go. Yeah. You're an idiot. No, I'm joking. <laughs> you could totally believe in that stuff. You know, energy is a thing. Here comes the fucking science bullshit. It, nev <laughs> it never starts or stops. Energy just always exists and it just moves around and shit. Exactly. You know, there's room to believe that energy can keep going. That's totally fine. Like, whatever you need to believe to get through the day go for your fucking life right Getting deep. but this kind of stuff is just like faked for clout and money yeah and if you're gonna do that fucking try harder than this <laughs> like just a bit like if this is the way you make your money fucking work like yeah. don't but, be lazy <laughs> but there's kids on tiktok making these videos now making a, a killing Exactly. I you, want I want that clout. If you are doing it just for entertainment value and you know that it's not real, yeah, go for it. Like that's the reason why you watch them because they're stupid. Excellent, but don't buy in to like this kind of shit. Just be skeptical. That's all we want. Because we made some real good videos. Well, hopefully we haven't I mean, made them yet. Yeah, we haven't made really them awkward. yet. <laughs> made them yet so it's like if they're really bad um and it'll you guys be even are like, funnier these yeah. are shit um yeah it will be a really weird video depends on how lazy i get just like all these people yeah fucking oath all right guys thanks for watching i uh, hope you enjoyed this video if you want to see more kind of things like this shoot us a line and like the video subscribe if you have any suggestions for stuff you want us to react to let us know hmm. uh you can follow us on all of our social media pipes email pilotopodcast at gmail.com and YouTube, obviously. Subscribe. I mean, you did it. You made it. Be awesome. Uh, you can go and watch any of our other videos. There's a whole bunch of weird shit. So we can understand if you came here for this and you don't want to watch any of that garbage. But, like, <laughs> give it a go. Like, the same two people. Look at that face. Why well, wouldn't you want to see more of that face? I'm going to fucking kill you. <laughs> <laughs> God, Paranormal. That was, yeah, that was like the end of Paranormal Activity, wasn't it? Oh, my God, it was. <laughs> Just like, Grah!